Hi kids, welcome to our third episode of Online Safety with Sango. I am Sango and today we will talk about apps. Do you remember us talking about our digital homes in the last episode? We said that our smartphone and tablet are like our digital home, where instead of having rooms inside, we have apps. With apps, we can do lots of fun things like reading, playing, listening to music, and speaking to our friends. But we have to be careful about how we use our apps. Here is some advice about staying safe online. Did you know that many apps have an age limit of 13 to sign up? This rule is based on the content of the apps. Not all apps are made for kids. Apps indicate the age rating so that you can see if the app is suitable for you. If you cannot find information about the age limit, please check with a trusted adult. Always ask a trusted adult before downloading and using an app. Not all apps are free of charge. Some may ask you to unlock additional levels or features. Always ask a trusted adult before you make any kind of payment online. And by the way, it is always a good idea to get out of your digital home after some time and see a friend, play ball outside, or read a book full of adventures. Some apps, like games or messaging apps, collect our personal data, like the location of our smartphone or tablet. When we allow an app to have access to our location, it's as if we tell everyone where we are and what we are doing. People with bad intentions can follow where we are going. Never allow an app to locate your smartphone or tablet. You can turn the location function off in your device settings, often under privacy settings. Did you know that some apps and games let you chat with online friends? But accepting friend requests from strangers can be dangerous. Before accepting their request, you should first check if you know them in person. Because some people invent an imaginary identity by creating a fake profile with a false name or someone else's first name, last name, and maybe even a profile photo stolen from the internet. Always make sure that the person you're talking to is who you think they are. Is it really your cousin, your classmate, your teammate from football, or your friend from dance class? To find out, you can, for example, check who else they are friends with and if you have mutual friends, or look up what they post and like. Does this match your friend's hobbies and activities? Also, did you think of asking them about their posts online when you see them at the next family party, dancing class, or football training? If you don't know them in person, you should block them because it is safer to only play and chat with people you know in person. Let's sum up what we have learned today. Only chat and play with people who you know in person. Always ask a trusted adult whether you can download an app and only buy something online with the help of an adult. Never allow an app to have access to your location. If someone online asks you to meet up with them, tell a trusted adult straight away. All clear now? Then see you soon at our next episode where we will speak about the vast universe of social media. Until then, Stay safe, stay tuned, and share this with your friends online. Bye!